Epilogue. Also, before we start, disclaimer, I the narrator will refer to a character in the story named Ron, so if you ever hear me refer to this character named Ron, let it be known that I am referring to myself in the third person. Anyways, before I get carried away, let's begin. After Bio and MJ settled in Neverland, he made a ranch called Neverland Ranch. Bio was the reason people said MJ touched little boys, because he was a little boy. Afterwards, Bao woke up to realize it was all a dream, or so he thought at least, except for the MJ part. But then, suddenly, Big Smoke broke into his house, and blamed Bao for having a panic attack, where he was sent to Alcatraz. It was there Bao really met MJ, which was where the little boy rumors began. Michael Jackson had prison inmates, such as Shrek, who he would smash with sometimes. It was later Shrek would get in on the action as well, preventing the other two guys, Bill Cosby and Dr. Phil M. and M. from getting in. But after Dr. Phil revealed he had a gay electrical socket he would use to try to seduce women with, they could power a flying carpet out of Alcatraz at Michael Jackson. It was then they had a smashing party, after escaping from Alcatraz on the flying carpet, where everyone smashed, and the gay electrical socket's cousin, the microwave genie came into play, cooking all of the taquitas and shit, and granted by one wish. By a wish to get of a lover. The genie created a man named Ben, but little did he know that Ben was a hoe. Bile said, you want some fuck? But Ben said no, because he wanted to smash a girl named Becky. Ron wanted to smash Becky, but Becky smash blocked him, because Ben is a hoe. And girls like hoes such as Ben. Eventually Ron got with Laura, and MJ brought them back, along with everyone else to his ranch of which was where Michael Jackson explained that everything that happened to Bio was real, and they were finally reunited, and it was just that Big Smoke brainwashed him, because he was a servant to a man named the Cat in the Hat, being he was an assassin hired by the Cat in the Hat, who was the head of the CIA, but the government doesn't want you to know that. They didn't need to worry though, because a Cat in the Hat and Big Smoke were arrested for trying to frame Caillou for evolving like a fucking Pokemon. MJ, Bao, Ben and the others settled in Neverland Ranch. They went on numerous smashing adventures. MJ created an ice cream truck for little boys, and of which MJ told stories about his ice cream truck adventure. Eventually, everyone smashed, except for Ben. Ben is a hoe. And Bio and his first child with Michael Jackson. They named him Smash, after all of the smashing they had. But then, at the little boy's first birthday party, the cat in the hat came in, after Ben told the cat in the hat where he was, because Ben is a hoe. The cat in the hat booty raped all of the little boys at the party, after hitting them with a baseball bat, and, as a result, killed little baby Smash. Big Smoke came in and started shooting up the place. The cat in the hat brainwashed Michael Jackson who betrayed Bao, but then Shrek protected him, and sent him to a rehab, where Bao remains in question, as to how he ended up where he was. Bio explained all of this, and explained the only person he had loved in his life to smash was Ben, but the problem was, that Ben was a hoe, and Bio was torn psychologically, and suffered the bleak and wretched fate of being in love with Ben. Ben would be gratuitous sometimes and let him smash, but sometimes he would remain dominant over Bio, Bio reminisced. Bio sometimes wondered if he was just a mere pig just near in Ben's eye. Unfortunately, he would never know. Bio wondered what happened to Shrek after these grim events, and speculated he either was smashing Fiona and Smash Mouth, or was secretly smashing Ben, because Ben is... a uh hoe. -huh. Bio wanted to be free of this, but he knew the only man that could relieve him of his seemingly unalienable suffering, was Michael Jackson. Bio gathered Shrek, Ben, and Dr. Fell to try to surprise Smash the Cat in the Hat. The problem was, Big Smoke was in the way. Shrek was able to handle Big Smoke with his Magnum Ogre doll, and it left Dr. Fell and Bio to try to smash the cat in the hat. He was too challenging to try to booty rape, but then, when all hope seemed lost, the Diagama Donkey, I mean Bill Cosby came in, and helped them to the famous Kamehameha Smash. They finally booty raped the cat in the hat, where Bio released MJ from his prison cell, where they returned home, and lived happily ever after, until MJ died, that is after trying to smash a cactus, which had nuclear radiation in it because Preston fucked Spider-Man's toaster. Bio tried to save Michael Jackson by smashing him, 
but it was no use. Michael Jackson had finally died of drug overdose. Bio went to the hospital to find out he had cancer, after smashing so much, in which he had an abnormal growth in blood cells, due to him wanting to smash so often. Bio plans to get chemotherapy on the 30th and should be fine. MJ's died before, and so it was normal for him to occasionally come back from the dead. I mean remember the first story dumbass. Shrek went on vacation with Fiona, but should be back sometime in 2019. Dominic has been missing for 10 years, and if you see him, tell him we don't want anything to do with him. The same philosophy goes for Spartan, that little Covenant ass bitch. You fucking brute ass whore, or at least it's what he looks like in this story. Okay I'll stop now, I have issues, I need to see a doctor. And I found this shitty diary out on the street, okay. And I decided since I am a teacher, which I will explain how I became one in the third story, decided to read this to my kindergarten class. It seems though that there's still one last line left in the story. It exclaims Ben is still a hoe. The end. Although Bio's story has come to an end, that doesn't mean mine is yet, you bitch. It's only just the beginning. P.S. There's 16 of these bitches being made as we're speaking, so prepare your anuses. Also, spoiler alert, Bio might die in the next one. Actually, just kidding, but real talk, on the side note, if we ever see the cunt ass bitch Dominic get introduced back into the fucking storyline, we're gonna cancel the whole fucking series. So you better bet your ass that we don't get a new narrator. I mean it happens sometimes in alternate dimensions, and then the fucking Illuminati interferes, and fucks everything up, with usually a few people getting killed afterwards. Anyways, I got to go. I have a fucking life too, you know.